In this tutorial video, we're going to show you the simple step-by-step -step process of creating a basic instrument with your samples in the Sample Tank Editor and exporting it to Sample Tank 4. When you launch the Sample Tank Editor for the first time, it asks you to set your editor content path. The Sample Tank Editor has its own disk path for content, separate from the actual Sample Tank 4 content. This is because the editor content is in a different format and must be converted in order to use in Sample Tank 4. You can use the default location or set your own custom location on any hard drive. Now let's add some samples. Drag a folder of samples into the Samples subfolder in the Sample Tank Editor content path. Then click the Add Samples button to open the AutoMap Samples window. The AutoMap Samples window is the first step in creating your Sample Tank instrument. You'll see instructions for how to name your samples and how you want the basic instrument to be structured. For the best and easiest workflow, name your samples according to the Sample Tank convention. You'll see this defined in the AutoMap Samples window. The first tag is the note name, then the high velocity range. Additional tags can follow those for various attributes such as round robin number, oscillator number, element number, and more. All tags must be separated by an underscore with no spaces. Once you've entered all your desired tags, then add a space followed by a description of the sample. Sample Tank does not read anything after the first space in the file name, so that part of the name is simply for your own reference. Alternatively, if you have a huge library of samples that are named differently than the standard Sample Tank format and don't want to go through the trouble of renaming them all, you can select the Custom Mode in the drop-down menu at the top of the AutoMap Samples window to tell the Sample Tank editor how to interpret your own naming convention. More on this in a future tutorial. Once you have your samples named the way you want, click the Browse button to navigate to the folder that contains your samples. Here's a folder called Violin Vibrato. Let's choose this one. Select Pitch Track and Autofill so that your samples will change pitch across the keyboard and their zones will expand to cover the notes in between the root samples. Also select Overwrite Instrument Structure to ensure that you will create a completely new Sample Tank Editor document with no leftover settings or content. Set the default amp envelope release to 20 and the default velocity amount to minus 30. These are good starting points for most instruments. You'll have the chance to change these later if you prefer. Now click OK and the Sample Tank Editor will load your samples, auto-mapping them to note and velocity ranges based on the tags in the sample file names. The editor will report its progress and tell you how many samples it successfully auto-mapped after it closes the auto-map samples window. Now is a good time to save your Sample Tank Editor document. Go to the File menu and choose Save and navigate to the Instruments subfolder in your Sample Tank Editor content path the path you set up in the Editor Preferences. Note again that the Editor Content Path is separate from the actual Sample Tank 4 Content Path. Your document will be saved with the suffix .st4e for Sample Tank 4 Editor. These st4e documents will only load in the Sample Tank Editor and not in Sample Tank 4 itself. You'll eventually need to export the Editor documents as Sample Tank 4 instruments in order to use them in Sample Tank 4. More on that soon. Once your samples are auto-mapped, you'll see them displayed at the top of the editor in the mapping section where both the note and velocity ranges of each zone are displayed. Just below the mapping section, you'll see several tabs that represent each part of the sample tank instrument. The default tab is Zone Synth. This is where you set the usual synthesis parameters for your samples. Here you can adjust the settings for the pitch, the filter, and several envelopes. You'll notice that all of the zones are automatically selected whenever you're in the Zone Synth tab. This is so you can adjust the parameters for all of the zones together. If you want to change the settings for just one zone, or for just a few zones, you can then select those specific zones by clicking them in the Mapping section or in the Structure tree at the left. But in most situations, you'll probably want to edit all of your zones together. Now use the Zone Synth parameters to shape your samples as you prefer. It's typical to start with the amplitude envelope to dial in the perfect attack and release settings for your samples. You can then voice the filter to color your samples. Choose a filter type, mode, and slope, and then adjust the cutoff and resonance controls as you would on an analog synth or a digital rompler keyboard. 
At the bottom of the Zone Synth page, there's a modulation matrix. Here you create modulations where a source, such as an LFO, can modulate a destination, such as the Zone Pitch for vibrato or the Zone Amp for tremolo. We've created a couple of shortcuts for common modulations. One shortcut is to create a modulation for mod wheel to vibrato amount. Go to the Utilities menu, click Create, and then select Mod Wheel Vibrato. The editor will automatically create a modulation where Element LFO1 modulates the zone pitch of all the samples with its amount controlled by the mod wheel. Now let's click the Instrument tab to set our effects and basic information about the instrument. The fields on the Instrument tab window are global to the instrument and affect all its samples. The first field is the description of the instrument. Here you can enter a simple description of the instrument which will appear in the Sample Tank 4 browser. You should also populate the other fields such as copyright, icon, and category. Next, add your effects for the instrument in the effects section. Here you'll see sections for effect 1 through effect 5. These correspond to the five effect slots in Sample Tank 4. You can assign any effect to any slot just like in Sample Tank 4. You can also add modulations for each effect if you like, similar to the modulation matrix on the Zone Synth tab. Below that is the Macro section. These eight macro controls correspond to the eight macro knobs in Sample Tank 4. You define the actual macro in the modulation matrix on the Zone Synth page or using the effect modulation controls. Then here on the instrument page, you set the value for the macro, give it a label, this is the label that will appear under the macro knob in Sample Tank 4, and then a description. The description will appear in the browser of Sample Tank 4 with other information about the instrument. There's another way to use the macro controls. You can assign them as a direct connection instead of a macro and just link the knob to a zone synth or effect parameter such as filter cutoff or reverb mix. Use the macro mode drop-down menu to change a macro control to direct connection. Then in the destination field, choose the parameter that you want to connect to the macro control. That parameter will then appear as one of the eight macro knobs in Sample Tank 4. Lastly, set the keywords for your instrument. Choose at least one keyword for each section. Timbre, style, genre, and mood. These will help you find your instrument in the Sample Tank 4 browser where you can filter the selection of instruments by specific keywords. Now you're ready to export your instrument to Sample Tank 4. This is the easy part. First, save your editor document. Then just go up to the file menu and select Export Instrument to Sample Tank. This will automatically encode your samples and their instrument settings in the actual Sample Tank 4 format .st4i for the instrument and .pack for the samples. Not only that, but the editor will export your instrument and samples directly into your Sample Tank 4 content path. So the next time you open Sample Tank 4, it will automatically rescan your library and find your instruments in the Imported Instruments folder. Similarly, you'll find your instruments in the Sample Tank 4 browser in the ST4 Imported library. Click the ST4 Imported icon in the left column of the browser to view all your imported Sample Tank 4 instruments. If you want to go a step further, you can create your own Sample Tank 4 library with its own custom library icon and custom instrument icons. We'll cover library creation in another tutorial.